everyone, this is Zekatna here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation with variable questions. So, let's get going. Problem solve x square y double dash minus 2xy dash minus 4y equals to x power 4. Solution. We are given a differential equation with variable questions. Or let's write the given differential equation as Given differential equation x square y double dash minus 2xy dash minus 4y equal to x power 4, right? We can write y double dash as d square y by dx square minus 2x into write y dash as dy by dx minus 4y equal to x power 4. We know that d is a differential operator with independent variable x, then d square will be d square by dx square, right? Then this becomes x square into right d square by dx square as capital D square into y minus 2x into dy minus 4y equal to x power 4. Now take y common from all the three terms of LHS, we'll get x square d square minus 2xd minus 4 into y equal to x power 4, right? Now we are having equation with variable equations, right? And also this is a Cauchy's equation, right? This is a Cauchy's equation. Now we are going to reduce this equation to a differential equation with constant coefficients by making a simple substitution, right? Which is Cauchy's equation. Now let's make the substitution. Let I'll put x equals to e pass z, then log x to the base e equals to z for x greater than 0. Let theta equals to d by dz. Here theta is a differential operator with independent variable z. Then x d is theta, x square d square is theta of Theta minus 1. Now this equation becomes replace x square d square by theta of theta minus 1. We'll get theta of theta minus 1 minus 2 into replace x d by theta. We'll get 2 theta minus 4 into y equal to replace x by e power z. We'll get e power z whole power 4. Right? Then Theta into theta, theta square minus theta into 1, theta minus 2, theta minus 4 into y equal to e power 4z, right? Then this becomes theta square minus theta minus 2 theta is minus 3 theta minus 4 theta into y equal to e power 4z. See, we have reduced the given differential equation with variable equations to a differential equation with constant equations, right? And also, which is an operator form. f of theta into y equals to some function of z, right? f of theta into y equals to some function of z, where f of theta equal to theta square minus 3 theta minus 4. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation, which is given by y equal to yc plus yp. Now let's find yc and yp. We'll find yc using the auxiliary equation and later we'll go for yp. The auxiliary equation is f of m equal to 0 where f of m equal to we are having f of theta theta square minus 3 theta minus 4 right. Let's replace differential operator by m so that we will get f of m equal to m square minus 3m minus 4. Then the auxiliary equation becomes m square minus 3m minus 4 equals to 0. Now we need to find roots of this equation, right? We'll split minus 3m as minus 4m plus m minus 4 equals to 0. Now take m common from the first two terms. We'll get m times m minus 4. And the next two terms remains the same. Then this becomes m minus 4 into m 
plus 1 equals to 0. Now equate each factor to 0. When m minus 4 equals to 0, m equals to 4. And when m plus 1 equals to 0, we get m equals to minus 1. Then m equal to 4 and minus 1 are the roots of this auxiliary equation or m equal to minus 1 and 4 are the real and distinct roots of our auxiliary equation, right? Therefore, the roots are real and distinct. Fine. Now, coming to complementary function. We are having real and distinct roots, right? When the two roots are real and distinct, why say looks like c1 e power 1 root into independent variable plus c2 into e power another root into independent variable, right? Now let's write a complementary function. y c equals to c1 e power 1 root into z plus c2 e power another root into z. y c becomes y c equal to c1 e power minus z plus c2 e power 4z. Now we are having y c in terms of z right but we need in terms of x so what we'll do is we'll write e power a z as e power z whole power a and later we'll replace e power z by x. Okay, then y c becomes c1 e power z whole power minus 1 plus c2 e power z whole power 4. Now just replace e power z by x, we'll get c1 x inverse plus c2 x power 4 or we know that x power minus n equals to 1 by x power n, right? Then we can write x inverse as c1 into right x inverse as 1 by x plus c2 x power 4 right this becomes c1 by x plus c2 x power 4 so therefore y c equals to c1 x inverse plus c2 x power 4 or y c equal to c1 by x plus c2 into x power 4 so we got yc now, let's find yp, particular integral, we'll find particular integral using 1 by f of theta into q of z, we are having f of theta and q of z, right, where f of theta is theta square minus 3 theta minus 4 and q of z is e power 4z. See, this is of 1 by f of theta into e power az form, right? We are having f of theta equal to theta cube minus 3 theta minus 4 theta square, okay? Not cube, sorry. Now, compare e power 4z with e power az. Then for a equals to 4, we will find f of a, which is f of 4. Just replace theta by 4 here. We will get 4 square minus 3 into 4 minus 4 which is equals to 4 square is 16 minus 3 into sorry 3 4 is at 12 minus 4 is equals to 16 minus 12 minus 4 is minus 16 which is equals to 0 right since f of 4 equals to 0 if the denominator becomes 0 see by replacing theta by 4 the denominator becomes 0 right we will get something like this here denominator became 0 by replacing theta by 4. Since 1 by 0 is undefined, so total term becomes undefined. So, we will not replace theta by 4 here. What we will do is, we will just write 1 z into 1 by, find the derivative of the denominator. We are having f of theta, right? Now, find f dash of theta, which is equal to 2 theta minus 3, right? Now, find f dash of 4. Just replace theta by 4. We will get 2 into 4 minus 3 to 4 is 8 minus 3 which is equals to 5 which is a non-zero number right which is non-zero otherwise now just write the derivative of f of theta which means f dash of theta here we'll get 2 theta 
minus 3 into e power 4 z. Okay. Since f dash of 4 is non-zero, so we'll replace theta by 4. We'll get z into 1 by 2 into 4 minus 3 into e power 4 z. I'll write, I'll write it more clearly. Okay. We'll get z into 1 by 24 minus 3 into e power 4 z. Then yp becomes z into 1 by 2 4 z 8 minus 3 into e power 4 z. Which is equal to z into 1 by 8 minus 3 is 5 into e power 4 z. Which is equal to z by 5 into e power 4 z or 1 by 5 into z into e power 4 z. Now, we are having yp in terms of z, but we need to write in terms of x. So, what we'll do is, we'll just write e power az as e power z whole power a. And later, we'll replace e power z by x and z by log x. Okay. So, now, just write e power 4z as e power z whole power 4. Now, replace e power z by x and z by log x. Then, we'll get... 1 by 5 into log x into replace e power z by x then we'll get into x power 4 right which is equals to x power 4 log x by 5 or x power 4 by 5 into log x which is our required yp therefore yp equal to x power 4 by 5 into log x or we can write it as log x to the base. Now we got yc and yc, let's uh, yp and y, yc and yp, we can write the general solution. The general solution is given by y equal to yc plus yp. Then y equal to Firstly, I'll go for the first yc. We we'll get c1 x inverse plus c2 x power 4 plus yp is x power 4 by 5 into log x to the base e. Or y equal to, go for the second yc now. We'll get c1 by x plus c2 x power 4 plus yp is x power 4 by 5 log x to the base e. This completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation with variable questions in this video. Hope you understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.